Hello my lovely Capricorn, how are you loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Capricorn, I welcome you to the month of August, the month when we have Leo in the house. Whatsoever loves, whatever manifestations you got out there regards something quite creative and you think will work out for you, go ahead. That's the perfect month, especially especially as we are having the Lion's Gate, which is on 8-8. No loves to think out of the box, and that will help you as well. The full moon in Aquarius on the 11th. Speaking of today, in this reading, we're looking very strongly who is coming towards you, what is on the way towards you, what else we need to know that is heading towards Capricorns, and how to deal with it. Sun, Moon, Rising Science, and Venus might highly resonate with you this reading, might be here and there message. Well, look at this Ace of Cups, loves. Tower and Eight of Cups and Nine of Swords. I feel here for some of you, it's quite a surprise that someone here comes forward. For, for whatever reason is, you might not really be into it. Either because you are not ready either because you are not sure because usually the eight of cups goes towards the ace of cups which makes the nine of cups a wish fulfillment so there's something here out there that doesn't feel the right way or the right time but let's see as the tower scorpionic energy which scorpio is the number eight card the number eight zodiac this month also for some of you may have quite a few surprises so get ready loves here you are in the two of pentacles judgment there's a wake-up call for you as the tower as the judgment speaks of wake-up calls. This is an instant wake-up call. This is a real wake-up call. Two of Pentacles, Judgment, Three of Pentacles, Sun, and your major arcana, the Devil. So here you are, loves. Yes, for some of you, you had someone left behind or someone left you in the past. And if you really want to have a commitment, Sun is here, which is Leo. I have Leo, Scorpio, and your zodiac. Could be another Leo, could be, could be a Leo, could be a Scorpio, could be another Capricorn. Whoever comes towards you, loves, it's here for you and work things with you. Why you are in this Eight of Cups, Empress? It's kind of you are deserving more or you feel that you deserve more or you're looking for something else. The Tower moment, Seven of Pentacles, I've been waiting you know, the wait is over. And it's kind of, hey, the moment is now. Why you are doubting? Why are you in this two of pentacles? Nine of wands, three of wands, and a king of swords. Do you loves have different plans out there? Or for some of you, you could get over or just getting over of a narcissistic partner or you've been with someone who who you've been through a lot with them also i feel here there's a capricorn here who have quite different plans 
either to move to a different place and this person is there where you are or move even your home or your work there's a lot of things but you know there is a word don't seek somewhere far away what you can find where you are and the devil energy here loves queen of pentacles so what do you really want loves and the sun clarifiers six of cups whoever is this person it's a good one although for some of you you need to make peace with your past if you want something into your future one more card for the devil and the queen of pentacles ace of wands four of cups for some of you you think whoever comes here is just for you know a day or two but in the fact yes they are coming with their cup for some of you if you've been dealing here with someone and didn't go through because for whatever reason looking forward towards the future it's quite awesome and for some of you you might meet this person through your work or something here that's kind of coming forward let's see the best advice for you capricorn the zodiac signs here again i have scorpio libra taurus gemini libra aquarius could be another capricorn or a leo but i most likely speak with a sun in capricorn the advice for you we have knight of swords four of wands world and lovers i feel here for many many of you 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 might want to put this person who comes towards you most likely in a friendship zone but they they want to come forward and quite fast but you are in this six of pentacles who you love and what you want six of pentacles we have two of cups and the will which very much speaks that there is love ahead and it's whomever is this person is very different than who you ever had so if you had someone who you know eat your brains over and over this one is a very loving very nurturing yes a little impatient of course but indeed here this person have a lot of love towards you taking a leap because the fool is the next one could be very strong a gemini energy here coming forward or air but the thing is whoever comes they really want to go to the distance it's up to you loves the advice is most likely a pleasant one with big changes if you are there to make big changes go ahead loves go ahead and what the oracle speaks here we have the number 17 the crown spirit co-create with the spirit so here you are loves and underneath we have love is all around the nightingale spirit so capricorn you have love here beautiful trust the great mystery and absolutely now is a lucky time the moment of happiness it's coming and with this leo season if you really manifest it if you really want it to work on certain things especially relationship wise well now is the time for those of you who are focusing just to grow financially 
just because you know you've been through some struggles take the leap loves there's something here for many capricorns are changing and the shifts are changing are to growth comes with growth don't hesitate loves and that being said loves that's what i have for you I hope this connects with you in a way or another. It does, let me know as well. If you didn't subscribe, please do for more content as it's coming. Love and light loves. Have an awesome and lovely month ahead. Namaste.